Nation, WFR is proud to introduce you the most exciting confrontation at this night in Croatia. The five round bout for two titles, two men enter to ring, but only one man leaves. Two titles, two fighters, two hunters for victory. The winners takes everything. Ladies and gentlemen, and you know what that means. It time to set this place on fire <laughs> <laughs> the first fighter making his way to the red corner from netherlands ladies and gentlemen the current W5 Intercontinental Champion in light middle weight. Please welcome Masaro Glunder. Here we go. Challenger Masaro, the Project Glunder, 2-0-0 for W5 fights overall. He's 40 fights, 29 wins, 19 by knockout, seven losses four draws, 22 years old, 173 centimeters, and he weighed in at 71.3 kilograms yesterday at the weigh-in. He will be taking on what may be his toughest opponent ever in Vlad the Diamond Tunov out of Russia. 19 years old, 175 centimeters, he weighed in at 72.5 kilograms. He's 17 fights for W5, 16 wins, six by knockout, and one loss, and that loss happened to be to Milan Palis just fought against Luka Tomic. His overall record worldwide is 29 fights, 27 wins, eight by knockout, two losses, but don't let that knockout to win ratio fool you. Vlad Tuna has gained a lot of mass since the end of last year. He is a lot more powerful. And if you watched him against Ali Sakir at W5 Key Tech, you will notice the kind of damage and power that he now possesses, making him a much more lethal weapon than he was before. This is gonna be a battle. Five rounds, three minutes per round, two belts, the Intercontinental and the European title on the line. This is Vlad Tunov's first defense of his European gentlemen. title. The second fighter making his way to the blue corner from Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, the current W5 European champion in middleweight. Please welcome Vlad Tuinov. <laughs> Here he comes, the man of the hour, Vlad Tuinov. Yesterday's interview, he threw some shade on Masaro Glinder when asked by me, actually, uh, whether or not he's ever faced somebody so powerful, thinks he control the fight. He said, I enter the ring and I just start crushing skulls and I plan on kicking the living shit out of them. And that Glunder has never been up against a man of Vlad's caliber and power. That's a lot of words that he's gonna have to back up right now in the ring. And Vlad doesn't usually throw shade, but he is the champion. And tonight, very well if he wins, could be the proof that the 72 kilogram weight division at W5, runs through Vlad Tuno. Vlad has already beaten Cedric Manhoff, who, by the way, beat Masaro Glunder. But Masaro is fast. He loves to throw his combinations, and he fights out of one of the most respected gyms in the world, Mike's Gym in the Netherlands. And he's considered to be one of the better fighters who is able to perform the Dutch style of kickboxing almost to perfection. And that is what we're gonna wait to see tonight. But do not fool you, Chad in school is right up there with Mike's. It is tough nut training. These guys got strong chins and they hit like a truck. I'm very fortunate to know Vlad. I've been to all his, uh, all his fights the last three years as a commentator. We usually fly in the same plane together. I know Sergey Chad and I know his trainer Andre. They're all very great 
I have a lot of respect for them. They're very respectful. They're very humble. But they're all warriors, as is Masaru Glunder. And I expect that this is should be nothing short of just amazing and possibly even, I think, contender for fight of the year. Now, I know it's early. The fight hasn't started. But this is going to be fun. Two years old. His height is 173 centimeters. His professional record is impressive. 40 fights, 29 wins, 19 victories by way of knockout, seven losses and four throw. The representative of legendary Mike's team. He goes by the name The Project. Fighter from the blue corner. 19 years old, 175 centimeters. His professional record 27 fights, 25 pins, 8 victories by way of knockout, and only 2 defeats. The representative of Chinese school team, he goes by the name. The diamond from our old city, Vladislav Tuna. <laughs> Introductions have been made. We're now going to do the national anthems, and we should be on our way. Ladies and gentlemen, Dutch national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, Russian National Anthem. And to referee in the ring is Mladen Kranstich from Croatia. 
Mawad and Crancher is the referee. Fighters. Very good referee. I also know him very well. A lot of respect for him. He usually calls a very clean fight. And he's going to have his hands full tonight between Masaru Glinder and Vlad Tunov. Again, I expect nothing but brilliance out of these two fighters. They're both professional. They'll look for openings. They're not going to just gang rush each other. You should see a good, clean, tactically sound fight between these two guys. They're young, but they, they have the presence of being in the ring almost their entire lives. This should be fun. Ready, first round, fight. Here we go. First round. The fight that everybody's been waiting for, the fight that is making the rounds is possibly one of the great fights of 2017, is underway. Good mid kick by Vlad. A great strong mid kick. You can see the power of his legs. He's got a, a huge, huge thighs. He's very strong. He's also very quick. Masara looks a little bit smaller by mass, but he's, a, he's a, just as deadly and extremely fast. Spinning back kick, trying to go in the midsection from Vlad. Masara backing him up. Vlad missing. Again, this is the first time, the first tournament we're using W5 gloves. And I have to admit, they look really good. Nice right hook by Vlad Tunov. Masaro counters nicely with a nice combination. Good body shot by Vlad. Comes up top with the right hook right behind. Lands it on the back of the ear. Nice spinning back kick in the midsection by Vlad. Masaro tries to counter. Vlad does a good job of covering up right away. Look at the speed of Vlad's hands. He's actually gained speed as well on top of that mass. I asked him if it slowed him down at all, and he said not at all. While they were gaining the extra mass, they decided to work on speed. Had to go with that jumping high kick. Masara does a good job of blocking it. This is the type of fight where somebody's going to have to make a mistake to really get that opening. And you have two quick, two very quick fighters. Nice, nice right hook by Vlad. Came in right at the back of the gloves and Masara landed on the ear. Good two quick left jabs by Vlad. Nice snap on him. Let's go with that left hook right now. Vlad boxing. Straight leg kick by Masari. Masari hasn't really done much yet. He's not showing too much at this stage. Let Vlad get it out of his system. Vlad slips after trying to bring that knee up. Let Vlad give away all his signs. Masari right now just studying his opponent. Good left jab, got to the defense of Masari. Good body shot. Oh, Masari lands a big right, but Vlad counters with a left and a right. A nice exchange by both fighters. Vlad trying to go with that jumping, spinning back kick again. He does that spinning back kick. He is a high risk fighter. Sometimes I think a little bit too much. Good right hook by Vlad. Another right hook by Vlad. Sara tries to counter and land at that right jab. Seconds left in the first round. Vlad being, Vlad being more of the aggressor. Good left, right, left. Oh, nice right by Vlad. Oh, Vlad, don't toss him, man. Let's keep it straight, buddy. Vlad talking a little smack at the end of that round, which I like. Show him your confidence, Vlad. I got Vlad one round to nothing there. I think he controlled that round. He landed some good shots. Masaro took him. Masaro strong for sure. Don't count him out. I think Masaro was just studying Vlad, see what he brought to the table. But I think you're going to see a different Masaro in the second round, unless Vlad can keep him off balance. That replays. There's that nice right by Vlad. Got it right behind the gloves on the ear. Second round.
Nice body shot by Vlad, comes up top, he's got the combinations going. Oh, Massaro oh. lands a nice counter while Vlad was throwing his punches. The defense is open. Good flurry by Vlad, 2-0. Massaro now realized that he has to brawl with Vlad, and I don't think that's a good idea for Massaro. We do not want to brawl in the center of the ring with Vlad Tunov. Left jab by Massaro. He's just as quick. Left by Vlad. He's got a lot of power, man. That that mass he's added is really pushing his opponent around. He's already landed a couple good shots already, and Masara hasn't been phased by him. He still has that speed, very quick hands, good left, good left, right. Set up that right jab with the left. Good body shot, comes up top by Vlad, nice right hook to finish it off. Right now, neither fighter really using their legs. Vlad just boxing with them. Good left hook by Vlad. Sar really not coming after Vlad. He's kind of just taking it at this stage. I don't think Masara wants to brawl with him. I don't think he wants to get inside with him. I think he's just kind of waiting for you one way that he can counter. Good left jab by Masaro. That one caught Vlad right on the bridge of the nose. It almost looks like Vlad's also going for that knockout early on. Vlad missing a big right hook, but he does land that left hook and a quick backhand. Good right hand by Vlad. Nice spinning back fist by Vlad. Good left counter by Massaro. Vlad trying to put all his power behind these punches early on. We'll see if that really plays a factor in the fifth round if it goes five rounds. Good left, right by Vlad. Masara's gonna have to find an opening and do something though, because you're not gonna be able to keep taking a beating like this to the body or the head. Good defense by Masaro. Nice left jab by Masaro. Good right by Vlad. Vlad landed on the chin, kind of when they were tied up, and Vlad and tell him, "Come on, dude." Keep it kosher. 10 seconds here in the second round. And it's been all Vlad so far. I got him two rounds to none. As he is just controlling this fight. I don't know what Masaro is waiting for, if it's just for openings, but those openings aren't coming soon enough and not enough. So Vlad up two rounds to nothing here. So far, I was expecting a little bit more out of Masara, a little bit more speed, a little bit more activity. I don't know if he just can't seem to time an opening with Vlad, or if he's just kind of waiting till Vlad kind of tires himself out. But Vlad is looking well conditioned, and he looks like he can keep this up. by Vlad to start out third round. Good left to right combination by Vlad, blocked nicely by Masaro. He's got those gloves up. The ring floor is quite slippery. Nice high kick by Masaro. At some point, Masaro's gonna have to pick up his pace and his attack on Vlad. Otherwise, he's going to be forced to fight a hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat in the center of the ring to try and win. Good left by Masaro counter when Vlad went to the body. Good left, right, left by Vlad. That one tagged Masaro, and Masaro just gobbling it all up and countering with a nice left hook to the top to Vlad. Good left hook by Vlad. Good right hook by Vlad. Masaro's got a strong shoot in his own right. He's one tough kid. Good left, right by Vlad. Masaro taking some big shots already. He's not even phased by it. 
psychologically that could be damaging to Vlad as he witnesses that. Masaro just says, come on, man, I can take it. Nice high kick by Masaro, blocked well. Vlad goes to the body, comes up top to the head. A nice combination. Masaro tries to counter. It's Vlad slightly. Vlad tried to counter that and missed completely. Good left, left, right jazz by Vlad. He's definitely coming off to Masaro. Masaro ducking nicely, trying to come up top and they clinch. And there's a really good job on uh, Masaro's side right now. He's really utilizing those gloves up. Vlad is boxing them. Vlad has landed some big punches. But you can see Masaro's defense is high and it's tight. These guys have almost resorted to boxing rather than, oh, that's a bit of a cheap shot. You're a champion. Come on, Vlad doesn't do cheap shots. Okay, okay, easy. Nice mid kick by Vlad, right in the chest area. Masara was going down slightly, bending down to go with that. Oh, what a knee by Vlad. Good left, right by Vlad. Vlad's defense is open. Masara got a couple shots in. Ten seconds left here in the third round. I got three rounds to nothing by Vlad Tunov. You know, he's been, he's throwing a lot of punches and I think his defense is a little bit open. And I'm wondering when Masaro is gonna tag him one big time. It only takes once. And almost, Vlad looks a bit careless. Maybe that's part of his strategy, but he seems to be a little bit careless in the ring and keeping himself open and not blocking. You watch him train, you watch these fighters train, punch, block, punch, block. Be prepared for that counter. Vlad looking a little bit open here and a little bit vulnerable. continue with his strategy, which so far really hasn't worked. A couple counters, but nothing continuous. He's gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit. Masara can clearly handle Vlad's power so far in the first three rounds. Made a kick by Vlad, his leg grabbed by Masaro. Nice high kick by Vlad, blocked nicely from Masaro. Masaro's done a great job of keeping those gloves up the entire fight so far. While wow, Vlad has kind of shied away from using his legs, almost went pure boxing. Oh, Vlad tried to go with that high kick as Masaro went down and he just missed him. Masaro ducked and Vlad had him right where he wanted him. Vlad trying to bring in that jumping knee. Got to held back at the end. Now Masaro getting a warning. Vlad missing that big right jab. He tried to throw and land it. You have two great fighters from two absolutely wonderful schools. And two great schools and very well respected schools who are producing great fighters. And this is a key in a fight like this because it really comes down to just a mistake here, a mistake there, a good right by Vlad. You can see that both fighters are able to eat big punches and big kicks. Masaro has landed a couple, not nearly as many as Vlad has landed. Vlad doesn't really seem phased by it. Masaro not, really, does not, really doesn't seem phased by Vlad's power. If we compare that to when Vlad knocked out Sakir, Ali Sakir, you know, Ali just basically was just bumbling around the ring with drool coming out. It was absolutely a devastating knockout. But it shows you the level of fighter that Masaru Glunder is. Vlad just missing that right, but he does land a left hook. 
Blocked nicely by Masaro. Vlad trying to use those knees. Oh, Vlad doing a good job of backing away. Masaro had him wide open. Vlad's gloves are down. I don't like when a fighter puts his gloves down and leaves his defense open too long. Good body shot by Vlad. He does have liver punch, liver punch potential. 10 seconds left here in the fourth round. A fairly quiet fourth round. Good right left by Vlad. Countered nicely by Massaro. A little bit too late. We're gonna go into the fifth and final round and then we go to school cards. So I might at best have a tie. It was a very kind of slow round. Wasn't as exciting as the first three rounds. The fifth round is key here. It's gotta be Massaro's. It has to be Massaro's for a draw, possible draw. Possible. Uh, but I think that Massaro has to realize that he's got to be down on points and that he's got to come out and really go after Vlad if he wants that belt. This is the fifth and final round or possibly the fourth, I don't know. The fourth and final round of a five-round fight. 10 seconds left, that's what we've been waiting for. Who will be crowned the champion? Here we go. Good, oh, good left, right, left by Vlad. He did land those. Sorrow not phased at all. Complaining about a slippery ring. Milan says you got to fight. Good inside low kick. That one had a nice effect on, on Masaro. You saw his knee buckle. Good mid kick by Masaro. Good high kick by Masaro. Blocked nicely by Vlad. Masaro trying to come with that jumping knee. Good, left, right, left by Vlad. Masaro's knees look like they buckled for a second. Masaro's slipping. Let's see what happens now here with about two minutes to go. So I'm trying to get that quick left jab in. It's actually dangerous for the fighter. Oh, what a big right by Vlad. Good left, right by Vlad. Vlad telling Masaro where it's dry. He's saying, let's just stand here and duke it out. Good counter by Masaro. Good straight leg kick by Masaro. Good left, right by Masaro. Is the brightest punch of the night for him. Vlad comes in with that right. They tangle up and go on the ropes. 50 seconds left. Nice knee by Massaro. Vlad did not block that one. That one did catch him on the, on right around the nose and the chin area. Good left jab by Vlad. Vlad missing that big right. Massaro trying to come up with that high kick. Good left, right, left combo by Vlad. Massaro doing a good job blocking. Again, he's done that all night long, keeping those gloves up and protecting that face. Good right to the body, followed by a left to the head by Massaro. Not a lot of power. 10 seconds left here. We're gonna go to the judges' scorecard, that's for sure. There is gonna be no knockout. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we gotta find out who will be crowned the European Intercontinental Champion of W5. I have to say goodbye to you because I'm going to be giving an interview with uh, Vlad Ormasaro, the winner, in just a little bit as soon as we announce it. So I want to say goodbye. It's been great having you watch. It was a good fight. It was an exciting fight. Vlad showed his power. Masaro showed he had a strong chin. I think this one's going to go to Vlad 2-0.
Take care. I will see you at the next W5 event. Good night. But stay tuned. There's going to be a quick interview. Decision. The fighter from the blue corner, Vlad Tunov. Still the undefeated Iranian champion and the new the five intercontinental champion. Vlad, Vlad Tudo, can we ask you a couple questions for a second? First of all, congratulations on defending what? your first defense of the European title and becoming the W5 Intercontinental Champion. Огромное спасибо Хорватия. Мне очень приятно было провести здесь мой юбилейный бой, 30-й. Огромное спасибо Сергею Чепиноге, то, что он дал мне этот шанс. Огромное спасибо Майку, его команде и Масара. Ты хороший боец, хороший парень. Для меня было честь боксировать с тобой. Хотел бы захвалить Хорватскую, хотел бы захвалить Дубровнику. Это моя 30-я борьба и изузетно сам счастлив, что сам управо овде я провел. Сергей Чепинов и за прилику, кое мне могучее до овде наступим. Также Масару, его целой экипе, Сьоян Симомак, Сьоян Сиборац, и это была сьяйна борьба. Я бы хотел также поблагодарить Дубровник за возможность быть здесь. Это мой 30-й бой, и я очень счастлива, что я здесь сегодня. Also, I would like to thank Sergei Chepinoga uh, because because of him I came here to Dubrovnik and also to Masao to hear his entire team. You're a great guy, you're a great fighter, and this was a great fight. Vlad, quick question. 
Early on in the first three rounds, you landed some big punches on Massaro, and he seemed to take them without any effect. Did this have any concern for you? U prvom dijelu borbe nekoliko dosta jakih udaraca ste uputili Masao, međutim izgledalo kao da oni nemaju efekta. Kako je to utjecalo na vas? U prvoj česti mač Masao zadalje njeskoliko dovoljno silnih udarov, no vyglizilo je to kak buto efekta ne imi. Kako je to povlijalo na vas tom momentu? Sada ću još jednom pobladariti Marko Pereka za to što on toži pomoha organizovati ovaj turnir. Ja bih se prije toga htio zahvaliti još gosporu Marku Pereku zato što je isto pomogao organizirati ovaj turnir. So I would like uh, also like to thank to the Mr. Marko Perak for the organization of this entire game. Ja znam to što je ovo zacepil. Ja hrašo popalo i uvidio po jeho glazam. On nastajajši vojen, on boksiruje do konca i poetomu byli vse pet raundov. Но я знаю то, что он понял, что такое 72 килограмма, что такое жесткие удары. Я думаю, голова еще болеть будет. Знам, да сам га успел дохватить одно у початку, те сам по неговим очим видел, да и мой ударец имел эффекта. Međutim, on je pravi junak, on je vojnik, on je borac i upravo zato ova borba je trajala svih pet raunda. Ali mislim da je uspio shvatiti što zapravo znači 72 kilograma. So, as I could see, I actually grabbed him and I'm sure that he felt my punch. But he is a real fighter, he is a real soldier, and that's why this match lasted for the five rounds. But after that, I hope he can understand what does it mean to have a 72 kilos. All right, Vlad, congratulations on winning the championship. Anything you want to quickly say to your fans and Ariol? Поздравление вам на этом, если вы что-либо своим фанатам, людям в публике хотите сказать. Да, Клаш, я вам честитка, и я пожелаю тебе упутать и поречь вашим фановима. Огромное спасибо России. Она болеет за меня, она вся держит кулачки. Она очень много мне пишет. Огромное спасибо моему городу. Спасибо моему тренеру Андрею Чадину. Владимир Владимирович Чадину, эти люди сделали для меня очень много. Они вырастили меня, они сделали меня чемпионом. И я ему за это очень благодарен. Огромное им спасибо. Prvo bi se želio naravno zahvaliti Rusi i te svim mojim obožavateljima iz Rusije koji me prate, koji navijaju za mene, koji su stisnuli prste večeras za mene, također mom rodnom gradu. Najveće zahvale idu naravno mome treneru, gospodinu Čadinu, jer bez njega ja ne bi stajao ovdje gdje stojim danas, niti bi postigao ono što sam danas postigao. So the first thanks will be of course for the Russian Federation and for the fans that I have in the Russia because I know that they support me on every step of my path. Of course, the thanks for my native city in the Russia. The greatest thanks are to my coach that is standing here because without him, I wouldn't stay where I'm standing right now. Thank you, Chorvatia. It's благодаря you. It's благодаря you, these players. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your emotions. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Chorvatia. Hvala Hrvatska, upravo zahvaljujući vašoj podršci držim ove remene koje držim. Hvala vam na podršci, hvala vam na vašim emocijama, na osjećajima i sretan sam što sam ovdje između vas. And the great thanks to Croatia, to the Croatian fans, thank you for your support. Thanks for supporting me because of you, I am standing here as a champion. So thank you very much for your feelings, thank you very much for your emotions. Take care, Vlad. Masaro, it was a great fight. Uh, in the first three rounds, in the fifth round, you really started turning on uh, more your style of fight, but in the first three rounds, it seemed like you were almost hesitant and weren't able to pin Vlad down. What happened in the first three rounds? Dakle, Masao, u prve bila je sjajna borba, čestitke sve najbolje vama. U prve tri runde činilo nam se kao da niste sasvim u svom elementu. Te tekste u petoj rundi počeli pokazivati znakove borbe po kojima ste poznati. Što se zapravo dogodilo? You know, it's a different weight class for me, a much higher weight class. So I cannot go in like I like to do, you know. The punches are harder, the kicks are harder. And he's still young, he's fast. So I have to, you know, check, 
check the punches, check the kicks, first round, uh, feel it a bit, and uh, then I can go and play my own game. Dakle, ja sam u zadnje vrijeme dosta izgubio na težini, što je uzrok zašto se i osjećam na neke trenutke pomalo nesigurno. Borac protiv kojeg sam se suočio je izuzetno mlad, izuzetno snažan, izuzetno brz. Te u prve tri runde sam se više pokušavao prilagoditi, otkriti njegov stil borbe tako da mu se mogu na najbolji mogući način suprostaviti. Final question. You know, when you were able to hit him, you hit him extremely hard when you were able to counter him. I... Would you like to face him again for a rematch? Because I think the fans would like that. It was a very exciting fight. Dakle, znate da vidjeli ste da ga i možete udariti, da ga možete dohvatiti, što je i naša publika mogla vidjeti. Zadnje pitanje, da li se želite još jednom s njime suočiti? Mislim da je to pitanje koje mnogi vaši obožavatelji također postavljaju. Želite li ponovni revanš? Želite li ponovni meč s njime? Of course, I'd like to have a chance to set things right, you know, for me. But... I can wait, you know, till I grow a little bit more, uh, fight a few fights on, in this weight class more, you know. But uh, all things, uh, congratulations to him. I won, he won fair and square, you know. Maybe next time in a, a much less slippy ring so I can fight my own game. Everybody knows how I fight, you know, move a lot. But uh, today he was a better man, so congratulations. Naravno da bih želio revanš, naravno da bih želio ponovu priliku da pokažem samoga sebe, ne u tako bliskoj budućnosti, dok budemo malo bili i u drugoj kategoriji, po težini dok malo i moj protivnik bude stariji. Danas je jednostavno on bio bolji, to je razlog zašto je on pobjedio, ali naravno smotram da ćemo se u budućnosti imati priliku susresti, te da ću u budućnosti i ja moći pokazati što znam i što mogu i na što sam sposoban. Danas je bio bolji on i zato iskrene često and very quickly, finally, anything you want to say to the fans of Croatia and your fans back home who are watching you? Uh, first of all, I want to thank my corner to help me for this fight, prepare, and uh, he went to me with Croatia. I want to thank my, few, uh, my two cousins there in the audience, Giorgio and Joshua for driving 2,000 kilometers. Dakle, prvo se želim zahvaliti svome treneru koji ovdje stoji, bez njega ni on ne bi bio tu, te svojim dvoje rođaka, članova obitelji koji sjede u publici, koji su vozili 2,000 kilometara da bi ovdje stigli George and Joshua. Sorry, bros. Pohnik je soccer bejdu dun. And congratulations to Flak. And thank the audience. Thank you very much. I really look forward to seeing you have more W5 fights. Masari, you did a great job. You're a tough competitor, and uh, it'll be great to see you again. Take care.